Hello and welcome, Class of 2024, to your virtual tour of Wilcox High School, brought to you by Elise and Rishi. This is Wilcox's quad. Many students choose to eat lunch here rather than inside the cafeteria. It connects the B building, R building, portables, and small gym. It also has a pathway to the S wing. Many events are held in the quad, such as homecoming's float night, Fantastic's class dance practices, and also lunchtime activities are held on the stage at the middle of the quad. Up ahead next to the quad is the B building. This building is home to a variety of classes, such as history, English, foreign language, special needs, and electives. The B building is heavily frequented as it has lockers on its two floors and is a passing point to reach the M, N, and S classrooms. During rainy days, students are welcome to eat lunch in its halls. The school library, which is adjoined to the B building, is open to students during school hours. On select weeks, you can catch a whiff of the freshly baked goods from the special needs class, so be sure to stop by to have a taste of their popular brownies. This is the R building. Most of you will have classes or lockers on one of the three floors of this building. Some classes you'll find here are Japanese, Spanish, math, or theater. It's definitely a pain to walk up and down the stairs to get to class sometimes, but you'll get used to it, and eventually, You'll enjoy looking out the windows in the stairway so you can see the quad. This is your typical classroom in the R building. Normally there wouldn't be a cabinet in the middle of the room or the desk flipped on top of each other. Nonetheless, this is where you guys will have Spanish, Japanese, and sometimes math. The portables, sandwiched between the B and the R buildings, are where you will find most of your math classes, ranging from Algebra 1 to AP Statistics. The S, or Science Building, is where you will find your biology classrooms. It is located near the baseball field and the bridge across Calabasas Creek, which leads to the practical arts classrooms. We also have a chicken coop at the back. This is the huge creek that runs through Wilcox, Calabasas Creek. You may sometimes see the AP Environmental Science class here during seventh period. They help keep the creek clean and also keep the ecosystem clean. The bridge across the creek takes you from the B building to the M wing and the staff parking lot. Here you can see Gabby on the bridge. She's our ASB president. The M wing is directly in front of the bridge and the staff parking lot being shown right now is right behind the M wing and also behind the theater. If you keep going along this path, you can get to the theater parking lot. Here is the cafeteria. During lunch, you can either choose to sit here or out in the quad. This is also one of the places you can buy lunch on campus, the other being the snack bar next door or the pizza shack by the S-Wing. Look, I know you've heard a lot about school food in high school, but don't worry, it's not too bad. It's edible, unlike, you know, middle school. To pay, you can either input your student ID number or scan your ID card. The school holds some events here, like Sadie's has been held in the cafeteria in the past, and also clubs can rent out the cafeteria for bondings and other events. This is the ASB office. Here, you'll get your fantastic shirts, winter ball tickets, and other items for school events. It's located in front of the R building. The Mission City Center for Performing Arts is our school's theater. Here, we host music concerts, theater productions, and occasionally grade level talks. The black box at the back of the theater is where the dance team conducts weekly practice. Our annual talent show, hosted by Senior Council, also takes place here. Additionally, the theater is a popular drop-off and pickup zone for students coming and leaving school, so it is usually quite crowded in both the morning and afternoon. After school club fundraisers also take place at the front of the theater, so before you go home, be sure to grab a boba drink or hot chocolate to support your school clubs. Okay, next up we have the small gym. It clearly is a gym, but small. Many sports teams practice or compete here if the main gym, which will be shown next, is being used. 
Your PE classes may also be conducted here when the curriculum is badminton, basketball, or volleyball. Next, we have the main gym, the true home of the Chargers. Here, we host home games for basketball, volleyball, wrestling, badminton, and cheer. Homecoming court and class skits are showcased on these very floors, and in the winter, the fantastic stances and games have everyone excited and on their feet. The main gym is also used for hosting events such as the sports and multicultural rallies. Additionally, certain PE curriculums would require the facilities provided by this gym in your freshman and sophomore year. So whether it's a sports match or a school event, this is where Chargers gather to enjoy themselves and have a good time. This is the football field. The tennis courts are behind this and next to the road. It is a big track around it used by PE classes and sports teams. And many sports other than football actually use the field itself, like soccer, lacrosse, and track and field. Clubs like FCA sometimes use the football field for events. There are bleachers on both sides of the field where we sit during football games. And I highly recommend coming to at least one football game, preferably homecoming, because the crowd is super hype and fun to just sit with. Well, that's it from us. Welcome to the Charger Community Class of 2024. We're so excited that you'll be a Charger for the next four years. We hope to see you soon, but until then, stay Charger strong.